Hey guys, Super Foxy one through welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title, we are back again with another Among Us video. For this video, we are going to be going through and making an attempt to figure out what we've got going on for the new map that was dropped out on October 24th, and that is which is known as the Fungal Map. So... Yeah, this is going to be pretty fun. Originally, I was going to make a video off of this new map when it first came out, but unfortunately for me, a lot came over me. I didn't really have enough time, so here we are now. Hello, everyone. Although, for those of you who want to go add me in Among Us, my user's right there in the top left corner, or loving hashtag 1761. And for this video, we are going to be going solo. Pretty much what we're going to be doing is going into practice mode. We're going to be turning on every single task it is that we can do within that map because I guess there's new tasks and different tasks that you can do for that, you know, considering that it's new once again. So yeah, that's going to be fun. And then of course afterwards we're going to see what we've got going for the imposter situation, but this is all going to be within practice mode. Uh, for an actual match we are going to be doing that for the next episode so try not to miss out on that for when that happens although before we start i am going to be going through and showing off to you guys what i've got going on in my inventory and then yeah we'll figure things out from there all right uh here's what my character currently looks like uh here are the hats i'm not going to be going through to clip all of them but what i have currently equipped right now is the wabbit season and then scrolling down Here's what I've got going on for that. Most of these I've got in either Cosmic Cubes or within the store, but I don't really keep track of all of that, so I don't know which is which. And then for the outfit we're wearing, well, the skin, that's the policeman officer outfit. And then for the visor, we have this little chicken beak with the little turkey gobbler thing on our chin called the Chimkin. And then here's what we've got going on within our visors. And then for our pets, we have the Magmate Equipted. As for the nameplates, we have the <laughs> Gay Pride Flag. Or, you know, just the Pride Flag equipped. Uh, ignoring the fact that my user is set to these nuts right now. <laughs> Here's all my nameplates. And then as for the Cosmic Cubes, I have the Snowbean Cosmic Cube, the Polis Cosmic Cube, the Mirror Cosmic Cube, the Treat Cosmic Cube, the Gift Cube Cosmic Cube, which I have completed all of those. And then for the only other one that I have that I haven't completed is the Snack Cosmic Cube, which is only 6% completed. So I'm going to activate that, and then we're going to try getting more stuff within it as we go throughout this video. Well, at least try to. Because we're not going to be really going into an actual match, so I doubt that's going to be possible. So me actually being able to complete this little cosmic cube right here it's probably going to end up being done off camera but who knows at this point uh here's what we've got within it uh some of the stuff we've already got unlocked but yeah there's a lot of stuff that we need to go through and complete for when it comes to that so hooray all right practice mode y'all we're just gonna try to get a layout of this map we're going to figure out how big it is, figure out the different areas, figure out the different tasks, and, you know, just all that sorts of shit. So, yeah. Let me just set that up, and then we can continue things from there. All right, everyone. Within the customization little computer thing, I have turned on every single task it is that we can possibly do while also turning myself into a crewmate. Obviously, you can become the imposter a scientist, a guardian angel, an engineer, or the shapeshifter for the imposter situation thing, but here's what we've got going on for this map. So we've got the dropship, the cafeteria, the splash zone, the kitchen, the storage, the meeting room, which is the area that we are currently in, the dorm, the laboratory, the jungle, the greenhouse, the lookout, the mining pit, communications, upper engine, and then the reactor. There's a shit ton of tasks that we have within this game we've got to get around to. And also, for the emergency meeting room, um, 
If you couldn't tell just by looking at where I'm standing, instead of it being a button that we press for when it comes to, you know, either reporting bodies or, you know, calling up an emergency meeting, we use this sort of little conch shell in order to call people up, you know, in order to get the meeting settled. All right, let's see where we've got to go. Okay, so the dorm room. Get to play a video game. Okay, that's cool. Although it just looks like a straight up little. It doesn't even look like a freaking video game. It just looks like one of the tasks that you've got to do within the scalp map. You know, destroy the asteroids or meteors. Okay, so now we have to go to storage. Here, let me just pull up my taskbar. That's a lot of tasks we got to do, but there's one down. Continuing forwards, uh, there's a little campfire pit. Okay, coolio. Let me just pull that taskbar away because that's a lot of tasks there. Okay, um, drop ship. Okay, let's see here. What do we got going on within the drop ship? We've got the wires task. Okay, so some things have stayed the same and some things are new. And obviously, as from what you can tell, we have crash landed onto this. Uh, beachy area full of mushrooms and junk. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure over here where the campfire is, we have to roast marshmallows. Mm. I don't really know how that's going to work, but... Okay, watering can. We gotta get that. And then, what do we gotta use that for? Watering can. Oh my gosh, there's too much to do. I think we have to go to the greenhouse for that. So let's try to figure out our way there. Hold on. I'm just spiraling in circles at this point. Okay. Let's head down, and then it looks like we're going to have to travel through the jungle. Although, what is this task right here? We have to pick up these little things, little mushrooms, and then a crystal. Okay. And then it seems like we have to go to the laboratory for that. We will go to the greenhouse in a second. This area is just full of different little fungus things, and then I want to say those are Venus flytraps. Little yellow Venus flytraps. Jeez. Okay, and then it looks like we have to assemble this crystal. Okay, that's one of our tasks that haven't changed. Whoops. Okay, which is the right part? It's this one. Okay. Boop, boop, and then boop. Okay, there we go with that. Um... I'm not even really going into a specific order with this. I'm just following up whichever things that are highlighted throughout this. Alright, so what do we got to do for this one right here? Okay, we have to sort out these different things. The little red crystal ruby things go in there, and then the mushrooms go in here. These look like little paper cutouts, if I'm going to be honest with you. You know, with the little white outline on the outside of the... Outline thing for it. Okay, so stepping over a mushroom, apparently it explodes and this purple gas comes popping out of it. Isn't that fun? Okay, and then this task right here, we gotta do a little log reading. Do do do. Wait, I'm doing it wrong. Okay, let's head upwards with that. And then we gotta go head on to the other side of this greenhouse thing. And then we have to hold down and grow these little plants right here that are looking pretty dead. Okay, that's fun. Pretty sure we've had a task similar like this in one of the other maps. Okay, so now what do we gotta do for this one? Okay, hold down for that as well. Oh, no, we're picking out little plant thingies. Okay. And then the one that's blinking as of right now is the kitchen, but we are going to try to make an attempt at getting around to all of the other tasks that we have to get around to nearby. So, what is this pile right here? You gotta pick out plants or something? Oh, there's a little- hello? There was a little egg that we just picked up. Okay. Uh, let's see what's over here. Walk around, there's a little blue glow mushroom. Isn't that lovely? Okay. And then we gotta head down this way. Oh, and then we gotta deal with whatever this shit is. We've gotten that task before, so it's not really something new to us. 
Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure these little things right here are like vents. And as for the little mushrooms that explode, I'm pretty sure everyone else who's around you, like if you step on that thing, uh, they become invisible to you, even though you're clearly seen in pure view. All right, let's see what we've got going on for this. We got to lift up this basket of crystals or whatever. Okay. And then we gotta head upwind, but the reactor is right here, so we're going to deal with that first. What's this? We gotta pick out some parts. Okay, I'll figure out what that's for in a minute. Okay, now we gotta do another log rating. Awesome. Gotta set them all to 133. Okay. A lot of log rating tasks, but okay. Head up this ladder, and we are now heading around up to the upper engine where the communications mining pit and lookout is. So let's just see what task we have here on the outside. Okay, so we have to do another little bucket lift up. Okay, cool. And then, oh, isn't that lovely? We gotta go to the refuel station. Awesome, uh, I'll deal with that in a minute. Let's see what we've got going on for the lookout. I'm pretty sure that's where security is. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, like heading on down right here. Okay, so security. It looks like we've got a binocular telescope that we can move around and watch people over on. Okay. That's amazing. Great. But we don't need to look around in that. It's just a little tester. Okay, so what do we got going on for this task? Okay, got to punch in a code. It's time to punch in the code, you guys. Okay, doop doop. Awesome. Okay, let's see. We get to go to communications. That's where we've got the most tasks. And then it looks like we have to travel up another ladder. So this place is a lot of areas where you gotta travel upwards. And then the communications, you got some broken light bulbs. Okay, that's fucking lovely. Oh god, well, let's see. Uh, let me just deal with the little radio thing first. There we go. Okay, that was easy. And then it looks like we have to crank up this little light bulb machine thing. Haven't had a task like that yet. Okay. Let's see. Oh god, okay, so that's what those parts were for. We have to replace these damn rusted, busted up fucking pipes. Do do do. Okay, easy. Now, let's see what we gotta do here. Oh, hello, we gotta fix the satellite dish. Okay, and we gotta go doink. Let's fix that. Okay. We have to get the little bar thing in green, and then it looks like, hello, we got a little zip line. That's cool. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> it looks like we didn't have to really travel that far to go to the little refuel station thing. Almost all of our tasks are completed, so that's lovely. All right, let me just fill up this little water bottle thing. For some reason, when I open up the task bar, it doesn't really let me scroll through it, so... That kinda sucks. Either way, it's whatever. All right, let's see. Go to the cafeteria. Oh shoot, we gotta go to the mining pit. But we were just up at that area, so let's try to complete that first. Okay, mining pit. Gotta travel downwind. I mean, of course we do. Why wouldn't we? And then go, whoop. And then the mining pit appears to be this way. We've got a little broken train track thing. Okay. Oh, we gotta... Oh, that's fun. We gotta break away fucking rocks. And then it looks like there's some sort of... There's a few items that we've gotta grab. Do, and then I think, okay, yeah, that's it for that. We've got a little thing sticking out of the ground that looks like it's radioactive or some shit. Uh, I wonder what the lore is behind this map. Like, did they just randomly crash land into an island full of mushrooms and junk? Or what was that? Because honestly, looking around this place, it just seems like the crewmates or whoever is in role of this all took parts of the dropship and then just built it into its own thing. Uh, I just noticed in the little lookout area, there's a little board right here wrapped around on these 
purple sticks showing off like the little imposter situation thing like who can be the imposter oh my god it has something to do with lore i swear okay uh where was i heading to oh that's right i gotta travel downwind downwind down uh wind okay laboratory wait do i gotta go in the laboratory okay i just went to the greenhouse my bad i wasn't paying attention to that Okay, through the jungle. Oops, another explosion. My bad. I don't even really need that for anything, so I don't know why I keep stepping on it by accident. Oop, can't go through that way. So I gotta go downwind to get through on to the other side of this. Like, dude, half of the little building situation things, they look a little busted up. Alright, what do we gotta do here? Oh, we gotta place a fucking egg. And then we got to wait until the little timer goes down for when we can pick it up so only wait for that i'm gonna see what other tasks we can do even though it's got an arrow pointing to where that little incubator thing is so shoot man all right where we gotta go i'm just following arrows at this point Ooh, hello my bad all right uh we've got to go to the kitchen cafeteria thing okay so it looks like we gotta fill up the little water situation okay do, 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 do. There we go. And then, oh my gosh, there's so much tasks in this area for this one. We gotta take out the trash. Come on, get out. Get out of the bin. Thank you. Okay, cool. And then for the little splash zone area, let's see. Oh, we gotta pick up a stick. And then you got like piles of garbage right there in this little sand pile. And then this, I believe, is where we got to... Do the tam uh, campfire task. And then look, we got a little mushroom shaped like a crewmate. That's fucking adorable. I ain't even gonna lie about that. <laughs> okay. Now we eat it. It's oh, buzzing. Alright, uh, back to what I was saying. Splash zone. There's a lot of tasks in there, so I might as well take care of that. Although, first of all, let me just take out the trash for this room, which is the splash zone once again. This air this whole area is the splash zone. It's all sandy, beachy. And then oh looky here. We got a little dinosaur gourmet floaty. So cute. Anyways, let's go swimming in this duty water. I'm just kidding. It won't even let us travel any further into it. So uh what do we got here? We gotta build the sand castle. No, we just gotta take a bucket off a sand castle that was being built. And it looks like we gotta lift some weights, isn't that cool? Okay. Okay, we gotta hold the bar down until we get three different little bar kind of thing lift it up okay uh awesome we're lifting weights we gotta get our strength and protect ourselves against the imposter and then pick up this frisbee oh got to launch it out of fucking wherever else that went to uh probably went to narnia but we're not going to talk about that okay now we gotta clear out the sand collect up these seashells i'm gonna assume that's what those are yeah just some busted up looking seashells, but you know what? If I can't go swimming like this, at least let me take the floaty out, man. Like I had to exercise. I had to take apart this can. Uh, I had to take apart. I had to build up the sand castle with the last bucket down after getting like three different stumps. I had to throw the frisbee across the room. I had to clear out some sand to get some seashells. Like, come on, let me go swimming. I deserve it. Even though the water doesn't seem like it's safe, but. It's fine. It's fine. All right. What do we've got to do in the kitchen here? We gotta chop up some veggies. Okay. Cool. I don't know what that plant was, but we just chopped up some weird carrot and the one before that. I'm gonna assume it's like some sort of cauliflower, and then this is some sort of stem. So what kind of dinner would you call that, huh? Like, uh, is that even safe to eat? Like, do you guys know if it's safe to eat? Do the crewmates know if it's safe to eat or not? Or are they just eating whatever they can find? Alright, now we gotta go to the dock right here. And I'm gonna assume this is where we go fishing, so that's fun. We got a little... <laughs> we got a little crewmate bobber thing. Okay, that's one fish down. Two fishes down. That's a weird looking fish. These are some weird looking fishies there, you know? Alright, third fish down. Come on, let's go. Yep. up. And then, oh my gosh, hello, one-eyed freak. <laughs> okay, so then it looks like we've got to cook some fish. Okay, 
lovely dinner you got there. We're just making vegetables with fish. I'm gonna assume those were vegetables, but who knows? All right, <laughs> grilled fish, you guys. We're gonna have a lovely dinner. We're gonna eat some weird plants and some weird fish that we managed to fish up and collect. But I mean, I guess considering that those plants were grown in the greenhouse, they should be safe, right? Oop, going the wrong way once again. All right, uh, laboratory, we got to go to the little incubator thing. And then after that, we're going to switch over to becoming the imposter to see what we've got going on for that. Oh, hello. Okay, um... We've got a little weird fuzzy blob pet creature thing. We just filled up their water because bro's hungry. I guess that's our little pet. And then we got to fill up his little food thing. Okay. Normally the crew would have just won because the task bar is full. For practice, we issue new tasks instead. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I think we've got a whole layout of the map, you guys, even though it reset all of my tasks. So... Uh, yeah, that's fun. Let me just go bop on this mushroom. <laughs> go bop on this mushroom, too. What if I just tried bopping all the fucking mushrooms? Like, how would that work? <laughs> I don't know if I can go, uh, do all of them because they just end up regenerating. But, you know, there's a lot of them around here. So, you know, that's going to be fun. Anyways, uh, heading back to the meeting room. <laughs> Where's the meeting room? Bop, bop. just upwind okay cool gotta go to door we've completed every single task it is that we can possibly do okay i'm taking a wrong turn here let's gather around the campfire i just noticed there's little seats right here from the drop ship where people would normally be sitting with their little seat belt things you know to navigate the ship around but look around you guys i'm telling you they broke apart the ship just to freaking build a sanctuary here because they couldn't figure out how to fix the drop ship you know if you look at the tiniest of details you know there's a lot of them uh someone tried taking a toolbox and fixing through inside of the drop ship here but obviously they couldn't do that because you know there's a shit ton of wreckage we've got going on i mean look at all these little rock pillar things that are sharp and pointy that destroyed it like bro did they run out of gas or something okay meeting room actually you know what before i get around to that i'm just gonna hit the emergency button for the fun of it you know and look <laughs> we're blowing through the conch <laughs> and of course since we are in practice mode we've got dummies for bots so they've already voted and then after that, we are going to be able to get to see what the little, oh, blah, 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 was object or ejected or blah, 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 wasn't objected. No one was ejected. You know, just say like that. Whoever gets ejected, this is what it looks like. They're set off on a raft, traveling off into the sunset on the waters, and then they get set on fire. Okay. Now let's set ourselves to be an imposter. Wait, can I be an imposter and shapeshifter at the same time? Okay, apparently not. Even though they are the same thing. But I suppose if we want to go kill off some crewmates, we can just easily walk up to them. But apparently, whenever you switch through different modes, everyone just ends up spawning elsewhere. Okay, that's weird. Uh, jumping into the vent thing, we just get eaten by a plant okay that's cool and then we can jump out them which is super fucking weird but oh well we gotta kill some more fuckers we gotta do it if i even can find them because again they're spread out what can you really say to that oh no i've caused an explosion whatever shall i do I'm honestly just looking around at this point. I mean, you gotta get, a, gotta get a perfect layout. I mean, shoot. This map is new. We're gonna get used to it eventually. Okay, there's a, there's one dummy. 
in this area. <laughs> Let me go up the ladder. Nobody saw that. Everyone dies in my book. You know, I, I just realized there's a giant... There's giant red crystals just poking out of the ground. Like, what is the deal with that? Like, some areas are grassy. You know what? Screw it. Let me just use the fan right here. Let me travel upwind. We gotta use our fast travel sometimes, you know? Is there anyone over here? No. And again, what's up with the broken light bulb? Like, how did... How did the crewmates even manage to construct all of this? Like, did they construct all of it? Also, what's up with the platform way up above there? Like, I noticed above the mining pit, there's something... There's something up there. Oh, hello. Kill you, Red. Die. Because I said so. <laughs> also, is that a cooling unit right there? Or is that just some part of the ship, like where the engine was? Like, man, what what is the deal? Alright, can't go around over here. I need to kill someone else. I will find you all, and you will all die. Oh, can't go down that way. Hello? Oh, hello, dummy three. How are you doing? What? What? Why isn't it let me... Huh? I think the game's bugged. What if I just sabotaged everything? Would that just cause everyone to die? <laughs> I can't even, dude, I can't even get to dummy three right here, even though he's just standing there, so it's like, damn, this game, uh, maybe it's a little bugged. I mean, come to think of it, Among Us has gone through a lot of changes for the past while. What if I just reported a body and hit the emergency meeting button and then, like, got someone voted off? know how that would work to be honest with you like i'm just overdoing it at this point all right let me report this body and then let's see what what's gonna happen like are we gonna get voted off or is someone else gonna get voted off oh there's only two other people alive <laughs> awesome it's gonna be pretty sad if they voted me off oh no they skipped awesome I just gotta find out where the hell these guys are, but of course everyone skipped. Except for me. Oh no, one imposter remains! Whatever shall we do? Someone needs to fix the shit I sabotage. What if I just- oh wait. I can't sabotage anything else because everything's been sabotaged already. Oh, zipline it is then. Oh, hello. Someone's in the mining pit. Awesome. But I'm pretty sure literally after we kill that guy, since there's only one person left, shit. Uh, the game would automatically reset. Are you telling me that I have to fix all the stuff that I've sabotaged? Like, are you serious right now? Ugh. Fine. Oh, Tom's not active. That's weird. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna use this vent right here because clearly the mining pit is blocked off. I can't- Oh shit, there's no vent in the mining area. So it looks like I'm screwed on that. What if I do- I really have to do everything myself. Like, I'm the imposter. <laughs> Office not active? What do you mean? There's a lot of things not active within this. And you're telling me that I can't get around to orange right here because these mushrooms grew up from me sabotaging stuff? Like, are you serious right now? The different mechanics within this game doesn't really make sense to me as much. as you know how we've got going on for every other map. So you know what? Fine. I'm gonna find the other dude. Too bad there wasn't, like, a little vitals check thing, but I guess that's only for scientists, so that sucks. Okay, um... Let's see if I can find this other bez out. <laughs> but, let's just take a moment to admire the jungle. Like, dude, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, I suppose. Uh, you know, it's whatever. This map... I'm not really too big of a fan of it, but I think it's decent. 
Like, I'm sure there's people out there that enjoy doing the different tasks or, you know, killing people off. I don't really know how that would, uh, that situation would work for in real time gaming. But, you know, it's whatever. People have their own opinion on things, and my opinion is that they could have done something a little better than this. But the real question is, whatever happened to the roadmap that they were going to make? Like, is this supposed to be what they changed the roadmap name to? The Fungal? Like, originally it was going to be called the roadmap, but they wanted to get creative with it. Or is the roadmap still going to be happening? Like, I don't understand the deal with that. I'd never really thought about that until now, and it's like, what the hell is going on? Inner Sloth, we need answers. Huh, boom, boom, explosion. I don't think I can find anybody else, y'all. There's a high chance that wherever the other crewmates are, they're probably trapped away within whatever the fuck he got going on for this. Oh, hello, I didn't realize we could mess around with this, so it looks like we have to break away at the mushrooms. I didn't realize that we could walk up to it and use it, so that's fun. Uh, I should have realized that sooner, but I'm a fucking dumbass. Oh no, he's dead. Normally, the imposter would have just won because the crew can no longer win. For practice, we revive everyone instead. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Okay, cool. Alright, so, uh, before we end this, I am going to do a little more of an explore, but the only difference this time is that I am going to become a ghost, so I can get a better layout of the entire map, since, you know, the ghosts can travel further than what the crewmates can because of the invisible barriers. So yeah, uh, that's fun. I'm gonna just go bop. Oh no, Blue's dead. Whatever shall we do? I didn't see nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't touch nothing. All right, uh, let's be a ghost or guardian angel since that's all we can become right now. All right, we are going to travel to the very, 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 very top, which is off into this murky yellow piss water. Okay, so this is where the damage of the dropship happened. And then instead of going around to the very top just yet, we're going to go around in circles in this map right here. Okay. And then we got the little fishing area. We got all these little weird colored rocks. And heading on down, there's more of these spiky purple rocks. And then, oh, look, the jungle area. And then what's in front of it that we can't actually get around to? I just noticed we're hiding in between the plants as we go through this. Oh, my gosh. All right. Just full of rocks, plants, funguses, and just shit of that sort. Okay, cool. And going around in more circles, we have more of these spiky purple rocks. How far can we go? Okay, we can only go that far. And then going around, heading upwind. We can see the horizon in the sky above. Okay, but what do we have going on up here? We've got some sort of little platform sticking through the rock that looks like it was forced into it. And then we got someone, someone was drinking juice. And then up here we've got this, what the fuck? We've got a rock with a face on it. So this area we can't obviously get up to. But this is where the damage happened to the dropship. And then up here, it's a hello. It says no ghosts allowed. There's a little no ghost, no ghost allowed sign. And then up here, we've got some sort of giant little thing sticking out of the ground. I want to assume that's a part of the ship. We've got this thing. It's got a crack in it. You got just straight up a barren area, a barren wasteland. That's what it's looking like. Some giant crystal I was broken at. Okay, so that's fun. Uh, and heading back down. This is where we originally start the dropship. That's what that looks like. And then we've got the little cafeteria. Again, beachy area. I just noticed that's blocked off with caution tape, okay? And right here, of course, we've got the fucking campfire. 
Dummy 2 is fucking dead, just floating there as a guardian angel. And we got the splash zone. I just want to take that floaty home with me, bro. Like, just give it to me. Of course, we got the kitchen, the area where we go fishing at. The jungle area with the laboratory. And of course, the meeting room, the dorm room. And then the greenhouse. And then, of course, the reactor's over here. My god. Okay. And then, heading upwards. We've got the little lookout area. That's lovely. Upper engine. You know, I just noticed a lot of things within this map are pretty busted. And we have this little ladder like area we have to get up to the communications area and then as for the mining pit this is what that looks like as for the storage area we've just got a few shelves lying around and then I'd say that's about it, what we've got going on for that, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little plaque, uh, plaque. I hope you enjoyed this little practice playthrough that we've got going on for Among Us, the fungal map. So I hope you enjoyed. Once again, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down in the comments below some video ideas, and I will see you all in the next episode. That's where shit gets truly real. Alright, deuces.